Aloha, Ohana. That's how we say hello, family, here in Hawaii. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Chris, and it is my pleasure to show you around the beautiful islands of Hawaii. There are some pretty cool things you need to know about Hawaii, and I'm gonna see if you can guess what they are. So let's play Two Truths. I'm gonna tell you three things about Hawaii, but only two of them are going to be true. When I'm done, I'll give you a chance to shout out the one that you think is not true. Okay, here we go. Number one, the movies Jurassic Park and Jurassic World were filmed in Hawaii. Number two, you can take a helicopter tour of the islands. And number three, everyone in Hawaii speaks English. Okay, which one do you think is not true? Shout out your answer. It's number three. Hawaiians speak many different languages, and it's the only U.S. state to have two official languages, English and Hawaiian. But it's true, the Jurassic movies were filmed here along with other movies like Pirates of the Caribbean and Jumanji. All right, I have some more fun facts for you. Let's see if you know which one is not true. Number one, all of the beaches in Hawaii have white sand. Number two, the largest maze in the world is in Hawaii. And number three, each hula dance done here on the island tells a story. Okay, which one do you think is not true? Shout out your answer. If you said number one, you're correct. Many of the beaches here do have white sand, but some have green, red, pink, and even black sand. And yep, the largest maze in the world is here. And hula dances really do tell stories. Speaking of the hula, let's all get on our feet and dance with our Ohana. That's a Snapchat Boomerang with the praise and the right back Man, we hide in the sky, no turn back If it be our last night, leave it all here No fear, be clear, this is your year Let go of anything that isn't God's steer By Zine with a dream, man, it's so clear Yeah, so clear And you know, wherever you go I'ma stick close, they gon' think we a duo Bond so tight, hug it out like a sumo And I never think twice, you the boss of my life No, you go And this world not down with us They can try to limit faith, but it's down to us Man, love so deep, not a game to us When the blessing comes down, man, the praise go up
Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You were always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop Never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing and take your seat, Ohana. Luau's are so much fun. And did you know that God made us to have fun with our family? Kind of like this. Family challenge. Ba -ba 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 bowling. Once was a man named Noah, who had a wife and three sons. Noah's family lived in a time when the people were full of evil, but Noah was different. In fact, 
He was the only person on earth who was doing the right things and obeying God. God knew that things needed to change, and he made a plan to save Noah and his family from what was about to happen. God told Noah he was going to send a huge flood to destroy everything on earth and that Noah needed to build a giant boat. God gave Noah instructions for exactly how to build it, and Noah obeyed. His family built a boat that was 45 feet high, 75 feet wide, and 450 feet long with a door and three decks inside for all the animals God was going to send to be protected during the flood. Once it was finished, Noah went into the boat with his family in pairs of every kind of animal and bird, from lions and lambs to butterflies and bluebirds. Bears and even elephants were in the boat with them too. Then God shut the door and it began to rain. For 40 days and 40 nights, water rained down from the sky and sprang up from the oceans and filled the entire earth. It was a good thing Noah obeyed all of God's instructions because he was able to keep his family and all of the animals safe. God cared about Noah and all the animals. So when the rain stopped, he sent a wind to dry up the water on the earth. And after 150 days, the boat landed on the top of a mountain. Noah sent a white dove out to see if the water had gone away. But the dove came back because there was no place to land. A short time later, Noah sent the same dove out, and it returned with a leaf from an olive tree in its beak. Then seven days later, Noah sent the dove out again, but this time, it didn't come back at all. That meant that the flood was gone. God told Noah and his family the time had come for them to leave the boat, and God made a promise to Noah's family and all people for all time that he would never send another flood to destroy the whole earth again. God placed a rainbow in the clouds as a sign of His promise. And God has always kept that promise, just like He keeps all of His promises to us. So every time you see a rainbow in the sky, you can remember that God will always keep His promises to your family too. I can trust God's promises for my family. That's right! You can trust God's promises for your family because He always keeps them. And if you want to find out what His promises are, His Word is packed full of them. How to pack your suitcase. Whenever you go on a trip, does it seem like you always come home with more stuff in your suitcase than what you packed in the first place? That's because the more time you spend somewhere, the more things you tend to bring back home. The same is true when you spend time with God. The more you talk to Him and read His Word, the more He will show you the promises He has for your life and for your family. Like His promises to always be with you, and His promises to never stop loving you no matter what you do, or God's promise to hear you when you pray, and His promise to give you everything you need. Life with God is packed full of promises for you and your family, and you can trust that He will keep every single one. Getting along with the people you live with and even the people who don't live with you can be tough sometimes. And when it is, just remember this Bible verse. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Okay, when you're at home with your family, you can write this Bible verse or any other verse you want to memorize on a piece of paper and take turns covering up a word. Then see if your family can say the verse, including the word that's covered up without seeing it. Let's give it a try. I've already covered up some of the words in our verse, and I want to see if you can remember the words as we say the verse one more time. All right, say it with me. Love each. Yeah, love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others. Yeah, honor others more than you do. That's right, Romans 12. Yes, that verse is Romans 12, 10. Great job. Now, here's a song that will help you remember it. Get on your feet and sing along. God's our Father, good, good Father, and we're all His sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. 
We can always stick together Though we're different from each other We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect but you'll see that we are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect but you'll see that we are family God loves me and God loves you In his family there is room For our brothers, for our sisters We are family Let's forgive and get along Cause together we are strong We are brothers, we are sisters We are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect but you'll see That we are family we're God's family, loving and honoring We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family We're God's family, loving and honoring We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family we're God's family, loving and honoring We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family Let me tell you about the time my grandpa bought me and my sisters an old scooter We went to an auction and we came home with a scooter But it didn't work So he let my sisters and me help him fix it up he would call out a tool and we would pass it to him. And he would show us where to put different parts. And eventually we got that old scooter working again. My grandpa is so much fun because he would let us race down the street on it. And he would even set up obstacles for us to swerve around. One time, a kid at school said my life must be boring because I live with my grandparents, but that wasn't true at all. As you can see, my grandpa was so fun, and I love him very much. No matter what my family is like, God is my father. He is always with me. He will always love me. I can be a part of his family forever. Hello again, Ohana. I hope you've enjoyed your time on the island here. We've seen families have fun together and learn all about God's promises. Now, your family may look and feel different from all the families you've met today, and that's okay. God's promises are always true for you and your family no matter what. Let's see if you can remember a few things you've heard today by playing Let's Limbo. Every time you get a question right, I'll lower the limbo bar. And after three questions, we'll see how low I can go. All right, true or false, some beaches in Hawaii have black sand. Yes, that's true. Okay, lower it just a bit. Okay, next question, true or false, God has broken some of his promises. That is false. God has kept every single one of his promises, and he always will because that's just who he is. Oh man, this limbo bar is really getting low. Okay, here's the last one. True or false, rainbows are a sign of God's promises. You've got it! Anytime you see a rainbow in the sky, that's God reminding you that he has good promises for you and your family and that you can trust him to keep those promises. All right, let's see. Oh man, I don't know if I can limbo this far, but here I go. That was awesome, but definitely didn't count. Anyway, the sun is setting on our day here in Hawaii together. But before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes and pray. Hey God, thank you for always keeping your promises. Please help us to learn more about the good things you promised to each of our families. And will you show us when you've kept your promises? Thanks God, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 
Okay, Ohana, keep trusting God's promises for your family. And until I see you again, aloha, my friends.